My name is Nancy Rauschenberg, and I'm a member of the Minnesota Astronomical Society. My name is Dave Faulkner. I'm president of the Minnesota Astronomical Society, and this is the Eagle Lake Observatory. MAS is a very large club. We have a lot of membership, and this is our flagship site. This place is called Eagle Lake Observatory. It's located in the Baylor Regional Park in Carver County, about three miles north of Norwood, Young America. It consists of two observatories, the Onan Observatory and the Sylvia A. Casby Observatory, and the Hotspot Classroom, which we use for presentations as well as a warming house when the weather gets cold. Why I keep coming back out here to the Eagle Lake observatories is because of the public outreach. We're introducing new people to this every time. We invite the public to come out and we have a number of telescopes here that we use to look at objects in the sky, such as planets, the moon, nebula, galaxies, things that people wouldn't normally be able to see. And we also explain about the objects, what they are, what they're looking at, how far away are they, how many stars are in the cluster. Not only is it a, wow, that's cool, but I don't really know what I'm looking at, but wow, it's cool, and, and now I know what I'm looking at because someone was coaching me. So one of the rigs that we have in the Onan Observatory is what we call our imaging rig. So the telescopes on that rig actually have cameras attached to them. And we're able to take live images from those cameras, display them on monitors in the Onan Observatory, and then we also have a video feed over to the classroom so that you can actually look at live video in the classroom of what that telescope is looking at. And it's really quite spectacular. Technically, it's called the MAS Public Observing Night, but we call it a star party. We have a lot of fun. We enjoy looking at stars. Our public star parties generally run from March through November. The public nights are rain or shine, and we always plan something back up in case we can't look through the telescopes. What is the average size of a galaxy? This was built and optimized to be a public outreach site. It's really a great advantage to the Twin Cities community. About 3,000 people come through here each year. We've had a total of 37,000 people who have come out. You see the kids out there, they get really excited. You explain things to them in their terms, then their eyes get big, and you know they're like, wow, I didn't know you could do this. That's the way I was when I was a little kid. That's how I got interested. So far, we've already seen Saturn, and what else? A dwarf. Yeah, white dwarf, yep, nebula. White dwarf. Mars. 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 Um, and then Saturn. Yeah, star clusters. The sun Saturn the sun. and a galaxy, we think. Because it's tiny little white dots. The black hole in the middle. What do you there see? There might be a, a little planet in the center there. What do you think Do you is? see any rings around it? That's cool. So the Minnesota Astronomical Society was formed in 1980. Prior to that, it was the Twin Cities Astronomy Club. It started out with just Metcalf Field in the Eastern Metro and expanded over the years to include four other sites. This site, which is our flagship location where we do our public observing nights, Metcalf Field along with J.J. Casby Observatory in Afton. Then we have a site south of Cannon Falls, about 20 miles, called Cherry Grove. And then our dark sky site, because there's no light pollution, is about two and a half hours north of the Twin Cities at Long Lake Conservation Center near McGregor, Minnesota. There are teaching programs that the club has and lots of activities that help people who just want to learn but need someone to help them out. I'm at a point now where I'm actually doing some of the teaching, which is pretty fun. I believe we have one of the premier amateur astronomy clubs in the nation, uh, particularly for having the number of sites that we have for our members and having the equipment that we have. For me, it's the adventure of, of going out and finding an object in the sky, of learning about the object, of following these space missions that we have uh, to the planets and, and beyond. The first time I tried to run a telescope for myself and I had no idea how to point it and how to focus it, someone told me that that bright spot was Saturn and I managed to get the telescope on Saturn and focused it and I looked through and went, wow. We hope that we're making an impact, that we're actually inspiring young people to look at science and technology as a way for them for the future. <laughs>